Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to dive into the latest version of lossless scaling frame generation, LSFG 2.2. This powerful tool can triple the FPS of any game, delivering smoothness, FPS stability, and lower latency on any GPU. Stick with me until the end of the video, and we'll test the improvements in fluidity in PC games together. Let's jump right in. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to LSFG 2.2, the latest update for lossless scaling frame generation. This version enhances smoothness, frame rate stability, and latency across a variety of GPUs. Key updates include improved UI detection for fewer visual artifacts, cursor rendering at the target frame rate, and the return of rendering above refresh rate. The new max frame latency option helps balance latency and performance with suggested settings for NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. Let's dive in and test these new features to see how LSFG 2.2 enhances the fluidity and performance of demanding PC games. Let's get started. We're tackling a big issue with the new Elden Ring DLC, which has been running very poorly with a lot of instability in the frame rate. But don't worry, we're going to fix this using the new LSFG 2.2. First, let's address the frame rate stability and reduce the CPU and GPU usage. In my setup, I'm locking the frame rate at 30 FPS using RevaTuner Statistics Server. This step is crucial for ensuring a smooth and consistent gameplay experience. Next, open lossless scaling. With just one click, you'll be able to triple the frame rate. Wait a few seconds for the process to complete, and you'll see a significant improvement in the game's performance. The fluidity is impressive. The frame rate is smooth providing a much better experience compared to the inconsistent 30 to 40 FPS with multiple stutters that we had before. While there are minor graphical errors, they don't compromise the gameplay and are a small trade-off for the overall improved performance. For the best results, I recommend locking the frame rate at 60 FPS, which LSFG 2.2 can then triple to 180 FPS. However, keep in mind that this setup is best suited for high-performance PCs. In summary, the stability and smoothness offered by LSFG 2.2 far outweigh the minor graphical issues, making for a much more enjoyable gaming experience. Now let's put LSFG 2.2 to the test with Alan Wake 2, one of the most demanding games currently pushing PC performance to its limits. We'll follow the same steps as we did with Elden Ring and see if it's worth using this tool for Alan Wake 2 as well. First, we'll lock the frame rate to ensure stability and reduce CPU and GPU usage. With just one click using LSFG 2.2, we'll gain fluidity and achieve smooth gameplay. It's incredible how much this tool can enhance your gaming experience with minimal effort. Stick around until the end of the video to see the full results and understand how much this tool can benefit all PC gamers. We'll analyze the performance improvements and determine if LSFG 2.2 is a game changer for Alan Wake 2. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that thumbs up button. Your likes help more than you can imagine, as they prompt YouTube to recommend my videos to other gaming enthusiasts. Together, we can help all PC gamers optimize their gaming experience. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with all the latest tips, tricks, and tools to get the best performance out of your PC games. Drop a comment below letting me know which games you'd like me to test next with LSFG 2.2, and share your experiences with this tool. I love hearing from you guys, and your feedback is always valuable. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Game on!